Welcome to Business 204, Business Statistics. I'm your professor, Dr. Annie Nell, and in this video, I'll be going over some of the course basics as well as a tour of Canvas. So here we are on our homepage, and you'll notice I've got some quick links towards the top here, as well as brief instructions on how to navigate Canvas. So here's the link to my Zoom office hours, which are on Wednesdays from 2 to 4 p.m., Thursdays from 9 to 11 a.m., or you can email me to schedule an appointment anytime during the week. I also have a link to the Math Learning Center, which is a great resource to help you out when you're working on homework. And then some quick links include the syllabus, our class project, and the glossary of statistic symbols that we'll be using throughout the course. So clicking on the syllabus button here, or you can click on the syllabus link on the left side of Canvas. This takes you to our course syllabus that gives you an overview of the course, my contact information and office hours. Um, you can download a full copy of the syllabus here, which is a PDF version. Uh, scrolling further down is the course description and course details, along with the course objectives and student learning outcome. And more importantly, at the very bottom is the course summary. So I already have the entire course set up with all assignments and due dates and deadlines. So you can take a quick look here um, and plan accordingly for the semester and know what to expect. At the start of each week, I send out an email on Monday morning so that you'll know what to do for the week. So you'll wanna take a look at the announcements link using the menu on the left side of Canvas, and you can also see the latest announcements at the top here once they appear. Any additional announcements are released throughout the week via email as well. Scrolling down, you'll see here is the welcome video that you're watching right now, as well as my email address if you wanna contact me real quick. And since we're starting the course, you'll want to make sure to click the Let's Begin, which will take you through the course orientation and resources module. And I'll take you through that in a moment. Um, in addition, just scrolling down a little bit further, you'll see the quick links to all of the modules in our course. So when you know which module you want to get to, you can just find that link and click on it. But let's go ahead and click on the Let's Begin. So once you're in the course orientation and resources module, you'll just want to read through carefully and click next through each of the pages. So this is the welcome message regarding the course. And again, I've got the link to the video that you're watching right now. This is a fully online course, meaning there are no required scheduled meetings. However, I do have optional virtual meetings throughout the semester. So for instance, there's an optional virtual orientation on Wednesday, January 27th from 3 to 4 p.m. for those students who want to meet with me and your peers. I'll go ahead and click next. On this page is a little bit more about me, my contact info, office hours. Email is the fastest way to reach me. Make sure to include your full name and Business 204 online as I teach multiple sections of statistics. I will respond within 24 hours. Note that for help with my lab statistics homework, you need to use the Ask My Instructor link under the Help menu to send me your specific homework question. Make sure to check out my teaching philosophy and my background clicking next. I've got a YouTube channel with all of the videos for our course, along with the videos in the other courses that I teach. So you just want to make sure that you find the playlist that's applicable to you. So feel free to subscribe, but all of the videos can be found in Canvas. So you can just watch through it through there. Here are the weekly expectations. So this course is structured using modules to help you understand the weekly expectations and keep up with assignments. Make sure to check important deadlines and dates that are shown in the syllabus, announcements, and Canvas modules. So my lecture videos are not two and a half hour long lectures. I break them up into short videos by concept so you can break them out throughout the week. Um, I also have interactive tutorials for you to follow along with, with worksheets and Excel. So it's a very hands-on approach to learning, similar to on-the-job training. So the general structure for each week, you'll want to read the assigned chapter, watch the lecture videos, and follow along using the worksheets. So these worksheets will help guide you with your note-taking so that you're not writing down everything. You can just write down the most important stuff and everything else is already typed out on the worksheets for you. I also have Excel tutorial videos that come with Excel worksheets, but you can also access them through Google Sheets. Note that the Google Sheets don't work for some of the chapters, so it's okay to use temporarily while you are setting up your technology. There are reading quizzes that are due on Sundays. That'll make sure that you have read and learned the concepts that you need for the chapter. 
There's my lab statistics homework assignments also due on Sundays. These are worth 20 points per assignment. And most weeks include additional assignments related to a research project. Here is my deadlines and late work policy. All assignments and quizzes have a one day grace period, meaning you don't have to ask for permission to submit a day late. If you need the extra time, please take it. If you need help with anything though, please email me or visit my Zoom office hours. Exams do not have a grace period and are closed after the due date. Contact me before an exam due date if you need an extension. I'm much more accommodating when we collaborate together. Note that while you should aim to do well the first time on exams and assignments, I do allow for retakes and resubmissions. In regards to exam retakes, um, if you score below 70%, I will offer you the option to retake a different exam. Um, you have to do it within one week of me returning your original graded exam, and whichever score is higher, that's the one that gets saved. And then as for revisions, the MyLab statistics homework and project assignments are open throughout the entire semester. So you can always go back and improve them or revise them, and I accept that up until the last day of class. The required textbook and my lab statistics registration is Business Statistics, A Decision-Making Approach, the 10th edition. Um, you should purchase this from the Miracosta bookstore if you want a physical uh, loose leaf textbook. If you don't need a physical copy, then you can just purchase the ebook with access code for $99 using the instructions below. Please do not try to buy our book from anywhere else, Amazon or any other website, because it will not have our unique access code to my lab statistics. You should take the 14 day free trial to access all the materials and the homework um, while you're trying to figure out if this class is right for you or if you're just waiting for financial aid or for whatever reason. There are no refunds after you buy the textbook and you do need access to the text and homework for the first week of class in order to complete the assignments. As for the required technology, you need a calculator of any kind and access to a computer with Microsoft Excel and internet access. If you don't have Excel already on your computer, you do have a couple options. You can download Microsoft Office 365 for free from Miracosta at this website. You can use VMware, which lets you virtually access Miracosta's campus computers that have Excel using this link here. Or you can use the Google Sheets I've created for our class using this link. But note that chapters 10 and 14 cannot be done in Google Sheets. No, it's not possible to pass this course without access to my lab statistics and Excel. Scrolling down, here are the instructions on how to register for my lab statistics. Note that Safari on Mac does not work well. That's the first issue that a lot of students run into. Please make sure you're using Chrome or Firefox and do not attempt to register through the publisher's website you have to access it through Canvas. There is no course ID. So um, you'll wanna log into Canvas like you usually do, and then just follow the instructions here. Um, I also have a video version of the instructions if you prefer to watch versus read. On this page, I have all of the helpful tips to help you do well with the My Lab Statistics homework. Um, this is based on student feedback as well as my own experience of the system. Um, I've gotten lots of good feedback on the system, but there are some pitfalls. And so hopefully these tips will help your learning process with the homework system go more smoothly. So make sure to read through this very carefully. In general though, I want you to remember these red text um, in yellow. Do not spend more than 10 minutes stuck on a problem. Contact me for assistance. Um, if you notice a rounding error, again, contact me and I can manually grade the problem so you don't have to redo it completely. And you can also watch me explain these various tips with a demonstration in the video down at the bottom. On this page, I've got some instructions as well as a video on how to use VMware if you want to virtually connect to a computer at Maricosta College. And uh, scrolling down, I also have instructions on how to turn on Excel data analysis tool pack for our class. So this is going to let us do a lot of the statistical analyses for our homework, our project. It's an excellent tool to know for work. And I've got instructions as well as videos. So in general, I try to provide resources in both written form and video form just for whatever preference that you might have. On this page, I've compiled resources like the Math Learning Center, the Student Support Hub, Help Desk, and Care that can help you out with anything that you might need with our class or outside of class. 
On this page is advice from past students on what they wish they had known before taking this course. So I've got advice on homework, on math and vocab, about videos and technology, advice on the quizzes and exams, and other miscellaneous advice. So skim through this, get a feel for it. This is some helpful things to keep in mind if you wanna do well in the course. With an online course, time management is so important, especially with everything else going on in the world right now. So I've got some instructions here on how to set up some tools like Canvas notifications regarding due dates on assignments. So I've got screenshot instructions here that'll walk you through it. Um, I also have instructions on how to turn on the calendar feature with all of the assignment deadlines. The calendar can be found on the left side of Canvas. And just as a friendly reminder that on the homepage, there's the to-do list on the right with all of the assignments and due dates as well. I've also got some tips to help manage with procrastination. That's usually the number one thing students will tell me is an issue for them. And everyone procrastinates in slightly different ways or combination of one of four ways. So I explain the different kinds of procrastination like anxious procrastination, fun procrastination, plenty of time procrastination, and perfectionist procrastination, as well as techniques on how to overcome these. And then at the end of a module, there'll be a message that says end of name of the module. That way you'll know that you've reached the end of it. Now you can keep clicking next and it's just going to take you through more content, but let me go ahead and show you a high level overview of what the modules look like. So if you go to the left here and you can always access the modules this way, if you just click on the modules button, here are all of the modules for our course. I just walked you through the course orientation and resources module. Now you'll notice there's a little triangle here. After you've gone through a module, if you don't need to see it anymore, you can always just minimize it by clicking on that triangle. Um, so the other modules that come after the course orientation, uh, I've got a module dedicated to extra credit and participation. I've got two modules regarding our research project. The first one is our project resources. So it's got all of the instructions, videos, um, materials that will help provide an explanation of the project. And then just below that is a module that has all of the assignments, the discussion boards related to it. So if you just need to get to something real quick, you can hop into either of these modules. But in general, when you're in the weekly module, um, any applicable assignments or resources will be listed in that week's module. So you don't have to go looking for anything. In this module, I've got external resources related to math, Excel, and statistics. Again, I've got the link to the VMware so you can connect to a computer on campus, um, the information on how to install Microsoft Office 365, my YouTube channel, my Google Sheets, as well as some third-party resources on stats, uh, business, and elementary, some Excel training if you want a refresher or um, to learn more about Excel, or just some basic math tutorials as well. So let's go ahead and look at what a weekly module has inside. Um, but here you can see there's the extra credit for the virtual orientation, um, but we do have an introduction discussion board in the first week. I also provide the chapter one as a PDF for the week one module in case you are still waiting for your textbook. But more importantly, in every week's module, there is a chapter resources page. This is where you'll find all of the lecture videos and content. So let me go ahead and click on this. And so you can see um, in the chapter resources page, I always have a PDF copy of the lecture for download. So that's just all the slides from the videos. Um, in most weeks, there's a practice problems worksheet that'll let you follow along with the videos. In chapter one, there isn't because it's mostly just conceptual stuff. And then you can see I've got the videos broken out here. I try to keep them under 20 minutes um, so that you can just spread them out throughout the week or watch them all at once, whatever your preference. And then if you scroll towards the bottom, um, you'll see I've got information again on how to access Excel and how to turn on data analysis tool pack. In addition, in the first week, there's a syllabus quiz with unlimited tries. There's a goals and resources survey, so I know what your intention is with the class and what resources you have, and that way I can help support you. Here's the link to the chapter reading quiz, and then here's the link to the My Lab Statistics homework. 
If we look at week two, very similar structure. There's a discussion board. This is, will be the last week I provide a PDF copy of the chapter because at this point your book should come in um, or you have access to the ebook um, through my lab. Uh, again, there's the chapter resources with the lecture videos. Um, why don't I go ahead and click into that one so you can see it as well. So with this chapter resources page, you'll see there's the lecture slides, there's the practice problems worksheet to follow along with the videos, and an Excel file that you can use to follow along with the tutorial videos. So you'll see here's the conceptual videos, and then there's the Excel tutorials. And then just scrolling down, um, I did create some new content for those using Google Sheets. So here's um, a tutorial on how to use Google Sheets to make graphs and charts. And then of course the reading quiz and then my lab statistics homework. In week two, you will be introduced to our project. So there's the supplemental content related to that. And I already have weeks three, four, and five opened up. So you're welcome to check out the course content in advance to get a feel for the course and if this is a right fit for you. If you have any questions, please let me know.